So, here is my TV, 40 inch Samsung. I've done some videos in the past where it's had some issues with something, I can't remember what it was now, power supply. Power supply was bad. It's causing whining and things like that. I did some repairs on that. Don't forget to check out the merch. And the thing's been going fine ever since then. That was a couple of years ago now. Was it maybe three years? What I've currently got now is an issue with the speakers. So when you're playing any kind of music, like an advert or whatever, or background music in a movie or whatever it may be, the lower bass notes, or at least the lower frequencies, are causing terrible distortion. So the speakers are basically knackered. So I picked up some speakers from AliExpress. Hopefully they're okay. I've got a pair, left and right. Flat speakers, they've got a tweeter here, and this is obviously the bass resonance side here. And now I might left and right. So I'm going to open the TV up, show you where they are, take the originals out, put these ones in, and hopefully it will work. Now, I would demonstrate the problem, and I'd also demonstrate the resolution. But, like I said, it's based on low frequencies and music. And YouTube will probably do me a copyright strike. So I'm not going to mess around trying to do that and demonstrate it. So you take my word for it. So basically what I'm doing is showing you how to get the TV apart, how to swap the speakers out if yours do fail. Okay, so what you'll find if your unit does have this problem is that voice and things like that and speech will sound normal. It will sound basically fine unless you've got like a, a male with quite a deep voice then you might hear it. But say female speech for example which is high frequency that will sound fine. It will sound absolutely normal but then you get a bit of bass in this to it or say music then you'll hear that distortion and it sounds quite bad. Obviously with high volume levels that's also an issue. So that's the symptom. Let's put it apart. I'm going to use my little electric screwdriver here. Just makes things a lot easier. There's a lot of screws. And I'm afraid you're going to get the back of my head. Hello, by the way. You don't get to see my face very often. That's what it looked like, in case you haven't seen me before. Anyway. Come on. Why is that one so tight? all of them yep and there's the panel now this is the power supply don't touch it okay the reason being is that there could still be high voltage charge in some of the capacitors um, this is the power supply which I repaired previously in my previous video so this is the bit I was working on then um, like I said this could have power could have 400 volts DC on it right oh, 340 odd volts DC um, that's what would be there potentially so don't touch it if you don't touch it, you're going to get zapped. Simple. So, obviously you don't have your power plugged in, but you can't take the panel off without unplugging the power, so you should be good there. Now, here's the two speakers. And you've got some cables that run across them to other parts of the unit. So, to unhook those. And this did come with the wires, but I'm just going to unhook the wires, because I'm going to swap the whole loom out. I'm just going to unplug the wires from here, and that should do the job. And they basically just sit in there. It's pretty simple, really. So, I'm going to unhook this one. And this will just pull out. And you've got the little clip here. I'm going to push this in to unclip it. There we go. So, this is Marta's left, which is this one here. Squeeze the clip in. Clips only go one way. There we go. Let's slide this one back on. Okay. Now these rubber mounts on this actually, these are quite hard compared to the ones on mine. I'm actually tempted to swap those out. These are really rigid. They're very old. I think they've had a bit of a hard time actually. Yeah, they're really bad. So the ones on my original speaker here are nice and soft, although cracked. But I think I'll put these ones in because these will stop vibration as well. So I'm going to do that. 
I'll sort those out off camera, you don't see that. So I'll swap those grommets over. Now the ones of my original ones are actually cracking as well, they're not great. But the ones which were on the replacement units, which I got, is obviously these are used parts. These just basically crumbled away and there's a rock hard. So they're just broken up into little pieces. I'll do the same this side. So let's unhook this. out. This one's a bit tighter for some reason. Under the clip. I might as well show you it. These ones say these are cracking. But I could probably swap them out with another grommet if I really needed to. So the suitable inner diameter. But these are both cracking quite badly. Actually these are probably be alright. These aren't too bad. These ones are softer than the other one. Interestingly, so we'll just put those in the zero actually. Right. Put that in. Slide onto the post. Come on. Put the wire into the slot. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to power it up and have a listen to it and see if it sounds like it's okay or not. But hopefully it's okay, um, if it is then I'll put the panel back on again and just reverse the process. Hopefully it works. So I thought I'd do some testing on these speakers to try and determine which speaker is bad and what frequency it's causing problems at. And I've got this hooked up to my Juntec uh, PSG9080 which is just up here which you can't see and that's set to currently 1 volt at 100 hertz and that is actually running right now let's increase the voltage a bit, let's go to say 10 volts now I don't know how well it's going to come up on camera and it could also have potentially be quite loud and that is indeed generating a bass note right? so this is basically resonant chamber and if I change frequencies by 100 hertz at a time, say 100 hertz right now I'm going to go up to 200, 300, 400 and so on So I went up to 3 kilohertz then. Can you hear that really noisy rattly one? That's 300 hertz. There. So it's down to 5 volts now. Right. 5 volts See how the tones are nice 300 hertz is rattling So if I change by a smaller step to go by tens of hertz So probably about 230 hertz about 330 hertz so about 230 to 330 are rattling a little bit on this speaker now it changes the other one I mean, there will be some natural resonance in the cabinets and stuff like that you will get that we don't you know audio file quality bloody cabinets um, this one's doing a similar sort of thing but it's not quite as bad it's about 250 hertz about 340 but it's not quite as bad as the other one so both speakers are definitely ratting around 300 hertz mark I mean I try to go in lower, I try to go in like 50 hertz stuff like that and it's just nothing there it's fine, it doesn't really respond down there I also discovered another interesting thing I try going up in frequency and I've got my uh, audio control RTA which is a SA3050A and I had that running at the same time as doing these tests just to verify that the, the amplitudes and stuff are there had a big dip around the mid-range interestingly but also discovered I can't hear above 12kHz anymore 
that's depressing. 12 kilohertz as high as I could hear, I couldn't hear any above that anymore. Getting old sucks. So here's the signal generator I was using, and because of my fan girl, it doesn't show up too well. Here we go, you can see it's slightly better now. You can see the settings, 5 volts was I was using just now, and 300 hertz. It's really good for this, it's enough output voltage to test these speakers. Brilliant. And here's the audio control RTA that I've used. Um, I used to use one of these many years ago when I was doing car audio, and I managed to pick one of these up broken about five years ago, and I've repaired it, and it works great. You just plug a microphone in here, and uh, or a cable and stuff. I did a video on it actually doing repairs and conversion, how to convert it to 240 volt and that sort of stuff. And uh, anyway, it works great. This is battery powered now. It's not actually plugged in the mains. It's running like a battery. Talk alerts. Can't hear any higher than that. That's annoying. This is the thing I'm working on right now. I'm repairing this. This be a video about this. Soon, TM. Don't forget to check out the videos down below for other stuff, like the other repair videos I do and things like that, reviews, whatever. And this is a subscribe link about here somewhere. And there's a Patreon support link over there if you want to help support the channel. Bye.